Good morning. I am in Sri Lanka. I got in at 2 a.m. yesterday in the morning and spent the first night at an airport hotel. And this is my first breakfast in Sri Lanka. Look at that. Some real juicy tropical mango. Yeah, so I was going to bed at 4 a.m. after day traveling. Yeah, man, little did I know that the street would get so busy in the morning, starting at around 5, 6 a.m. with like big buses racing by, honking the horn. I would just like get ripped out of my sleep. I maybe slept three hours. Well, well, that's what traveling is all about also, right? This guy is giving me a good deal. Driving me all the way down to Angama. It's 200 kilometers for about 35 euro. Taking a break at a service station to get some food. The driver is a bit tired also. Hi. How are you doing? You haven't slept much, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I was literally falling asleep behind the wheel basically. Now we're gonna have some coffee. How do I take photos of the tattooed guy? <laughs> My first doll here, rice and jackfruit. Wow, it looks amazing. Thank you. So my first Sri Lanka meal, dal, which is lentils with rice, jackfruit, some kind of peppers. Yeah, man. Tastes amazing. It's nice and spicy. And it costs uh, like one euro fifty. Vamos. Vamos. <laughs> it's 32 degrees right now, it's pretty hot. Another hour to go to Ahangama. All right, taking a little peek at a science surf spot, the Devil's Rock, right opposite from where I'm staying. And here it is. Nobody in the water right now. It's a bit onshore, the wind's coming from the ocean. In the morning, supposedly, it's a lot better. So yeah, there's the beach. You can paddle out from there. And this is my uh, hotel from the outside. Unfortunately, right by the main road, but it has a uh, sea view. <laughs> I'm in one of the upper apartments with a balcony right there. Uh, very busy road though. I'm a bit weary of the big buses that just race through these little towns. I mean, they're so fast and they're so big and they don't give a rat's ass. I remember when I was here in 2006, they already scared the hell out of me when I was driving the bike, like a motorbike. Oh, look, there's a police checkpoint. They're checking for international driver's licenses. Most tourists don't have that. Me included. That can be expensive. Supposedly, if you get caught, it costs about 25,000 rupees, which is pretty expensive for Sri Lanka. Like one euro is 370 rupees, approximately. So this is where I would pedal out. Oh yeah, it's like a bathtub. Oh, how I miss this. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so warm. You can still see ruins here up to this day from the 2004 tsunami. Swimwear is only allowed on the beach. This guy's naked. I feel a bit fried after the past two nights. I didn't sleep much prior to the flight and last night I barely got any sleep because of the noise of the road next to the hotel. I'm not up for too much action today. Just getting settled, climatized a little bit, maybe find 
some surf shop for some info on the spots. Don't want to paddle out to a resort knowing what I expect. I'm gonna have dinner at Mama's. Are you Mama? Yes. You're Mama. This is Mama. Cool. <laughs> Hello. Awesome. Oh, it's delicious. Papaya juice. Oh. Supposedly, there is a party taking place tonight. I'm following the lights. I'm not gonna party. I just want to check it out. Surf shops around. That's the party over there. Not really my cup of tea. Yeah, I'm going home. Need to get some sleep finally. <laughs> 